Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabriel, just on Fan TV, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all the videos, man. Let's get into today's topic. All right, so Ravens, uh, day 16 of training camp, day one of Ravens versus Commanders joint practice. Uh, today was an interesting day, all right? So you know how we're going through it, man. Injuries, offense, defense, let's talk about it, all right? So injuries, um, Ronnie Stanley, Tyus Bowser, Isaiah Likely, Jalen Armour Davis, Pepe Williams, Arthur Marlette, Jaquan Amos, all right? Now, for Ronnie Stanley, it's a little surprising. You know, it was thought maybe yesterday was just a veteran day, give him some rest up. But it seems like they're being cautious in case of an ankle an ankle issue. We know that, you know, he's had some lower body injuries in the past. I don't know if he has aggravated ankle during the game, whatever, whatever what have you. But right now, they're holding him out. For how long? We'll see. All right. Um, I think yesterday, Harbaugh said that Jalen Armour Davis, um, Arthur Marlette, um, are close. Rocky Sand is not as close, but he'll be back soon. Oh, he didn't. He didn't. So he didn't practice either. Sorry, right? Rocky Sand, he didn't practice either. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening with Jaquan Amos. But, um, and Isaiah Lafferty got banged up during the game. They're holding him off for right now. Uh, James Prochet did return to practice. So that's one player that came back. All right. So now about what happened on the field. Now, the, the very, really, the, the very first story is that there were a lot of fights today, um, which is not surprising. It's training camp, it's hot as hell. And um, when you're going against another team, it gets physical. I mentioned this yesterday. You know, you practice different ways. Teams take exception to it, maybe. And now you got fights happening, right? So, um, Tylen Wallace and the first round pick Emmanuel Forbes got into a fist fight. They were they were they were throwing fights. They were, they, were, they were throwing bolts at each other. Mark Andrews got into a fight with somebody. Then he got in the Ron Payne's face. Uh, Morgan Moses got in the mix of that fight. Threw, threw a Washington player to the ground. And then there was another highlight I saw where uh, Darius Washington shoved a, a commander's player out of bounds late. On purpose. Definitely on purpose. Shoved him out of bounds late. That started another fight. So, uh, tensions were definitely high today. It was a very, very intense practice. Um, a lot going on. Now, um, I mean, this stuff is going to happen. I mean, the Ravens have had some little, not nothing to this extent, but they've had little mini scraps and scrapes during their own training camp when it's just them going against each other. Like, I remember Patrick Queen, I think John Simpson got into a little something. So, it happens at every training camp every year, especially even heightened when you get another team in there that they aren't your teammates, so you don't, you don't feel the same kind of loyalty to those guys. It happens, right? So, it is what it is on that front. Uh, they, had, they had some scuffles. Um, John Harbaugh called the two teams together. I'm, I'm guessing with Ron Rivera as well. Called the two teams together to settle things down. Say, hey, look, probably just to say, hey, look, we're here to get some work in. We're not here to fight each other. And um, from that point on, I guess it was pretty cool from that point on, right? All right, now, offense, right? Zay Flowers. Oh, also, the Ravens live stream this practice. So I think it, I'm pretty sure it's still on that YouTube channel. If you missed it, definitely go watch the live stream of the practice. So but anyway. All right, offense, uh, Zay Flowers was pretty much unguardable in the one-on-one -on -one section, how he has been versus the Ravens. He was doing the same thing to the Commanders. Uh, he beat Emmanuel Forbes deep on a, a, on a street route, I believe. Then he won a couple other reps. I think one was a guy, his name was like Jartarvius Jar Martin or something like that. He put a great stop route on him, uh, created like three yards of separation on the guy. Um, I've... <sighs> Zay Flowers is very different from what we've really seen in Baltimore from a wide receiver, right? Um, incredible route running, incredible uh, change of direction, and to come along with that, great hands. So he's kind of the total package. The only thing that you could say about Zay Flowers is that he's a smaller guy, but he doesn't play like a small receiver. So uh, he showed up today, very impressive one-on-ones. Uh, I think he had the opportunity to make a big play down the field during the 11. so... All around, good day for Zay Flowers. Really good day for Zay Flowers. Uh, impressive like he's been impressive the entire camp. Nothing changed there. All right. They said Lamar Jackson was a little bit up and down. Um, I think that maybe that's a little harsh, honestly. Um, he had a beautiful throw to Justice Hill. They said that was his best throw of the day. He had, it was like a deep wheel route down the sideline. And that's another theme topic that we come into time and time again. Running backs catching the football out of the backfield. Uh, this time, Justice Hill. I don't think J.K. Dobbins got much work in the 11s just because he's just coming back to practice. So he's probably not up to speed yet. Anyway, Ravens throwing football to the running backs has been a great um, indicator of how the offense has changed. And they've been doing it a lot during this training camp process. It's getting the running backs involved, making them an active receiver in the offense. This time, Justice Hill, beautiful throw by Lamar Jackson. Um, they say he overthrew Zay Flowers later. 
I saw the play. It looked like Zay Flowers probably could have caught it. I mean, maybe just slightly outside of the fingertips. I don't, I don't really want to say that's an a overthrow. He did underthrow Odell Beckham. I will say that. But it was still a completion. It was still a 30, 30 plus, 35 plus yard gain down the field. If he leaves him, is it a touchdown? Probably. But, you know, I'm not going to be too critical about that. It's still a big time play. still a big completion down the field. All right. Now, they say he missed Mark Andrews on the overthrow. I did not see that play. So. If he missed him on that one, then it is what it is, but I didn't see that one. But the other two, the Zay Flowers one, I think Zay Flowers possibly could have caught that. And then the uh, Odell one, Odell did catch that pass that was slightly underthrown. Excuse me, that was slightly underthrown, but it was still a big-time play. Uh, Lamar Jackson moving in the pocket, you know what I'm saying? Good good pocket presence, good pocket presence, getting the ball deep downfield. He, he did have another deep pass to Mike Andrews that I saw where he had to kind of escape, not escape in the pocket, really. He kind of just stepped up in the pocket. Threw one deep down to Mark Andrews, gave him a chance. Mark Andrews went over the top of a commander's defender, came down with the football. So um, they said he had an up and down day. Obviously, they, they saw more than I did. I didn't get the chance to watch the whole live stream. Uh, but I thought Lamar Jackson, from what it sounds like, was was good today. You know, just a solid good day. And that's fine. You know what I mean? He'll, he'll get better. He's been pretty much rock solid all training camp. Um, he's coming along in the offense perfectly in my mind. So I'm, I'm good with how he played today. All right, so that's the, that's kind of it for the offense. Um, some good plays. It didn't sound the commanders caught too much struggle um, as far as they they, they deep the line versus the offensive line. Um, now maybe the offensive line gave up a couple of pressures here and there. Um, I had to go back and watch that, but I didn't see any reporters saying that the offensive line was too bad. So you know we'll, we'll leave it at that. All right, but uh, the Ravens defense. So the Ravens defense. Odafi Owe. Had a couple of sacks today. Uh, they said he had a sack on the first player, the one uh, of 11 on 11s, then a couple more down the line. Matt Abike and Ojabo combined together for a sack. Uh, so that's a good day from the Ravens defensive line right there, right? You have your main guys, Matt Abike, Ojabo, Owe, all coming up with sacks. That's a great day for the Ravens defensive line. Uh, now, they said the pressure wasn't consistent all day. Uh, it kind of kind of kicked in later on. Um so you want to see them be consistent. Now, that's the next step, right? They're getting to the quarterback, but can they be consistent about doing that? All right. And as far as the commanders go offensively uh, versus Ravens defense, said, they said that the commanders didn't do too much deep down the field, had a couple shots here and there that, that, that connected. But mainly, Sam Howe and Jacoby Brissett mostly attacked that short um, that, that short pass and kind of range, check downs areas, things like that. Um, they said Sam Howe was 12-15. Mostly short passes, things of that nature. So, uh, really good, efficient day for Sam Howell, even if it is short passes. I mean, your job is to get completions, get move the ball down the field. So, if the Ravens defense are giving up dink and dunk passes, that can hurt you. But you obviously don't want to see the ball flying over the top of your head every play as well. So, I think Jacoby Brissett had a big completion down on down silence on, on Kavon Seymour. I'm not sure who caught it for the commanders. And I think they said Caillou Blue Kelly gave like a 15-yard completion um, down the sideline as well. But besides that... Not too many big plays that the Ravens gave up. All right, so um, it's a good day, honestly. I don't. So tomorrow, so today had to fight. So tomorrow, I don't think there's going to be uh, too many scuffles or things like that. Could be wrong. They, they, they could just repeat today, but I would imagine the Ron Ron Rivera, the Commanders head coach, and John Harbaugh, obviously here on the Ravens side, are going to be in their players' ears about we're not here to do that. Right? We're here to play football. We're not here to fight. Um, listen, it's, it's, I mean, it might still happen because tomorrow is probably going to be hot. Temperatures is going to rise, you know what I mean, on the field and, and literally. So we'll see what happens. So uh, it was a good work for the Ravens, good practice. And um, yeah, man, we'll see what happens tomorrow. So um, you stay to this point in the video, man, consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, and get out of here, man. It's Gabriel, which is on the Fan TV. I'm out.